I'm Justin Roberts of Biz News, and with me for today's Food Retailer Insights is Protea Capital Management founder Jean-Pierre Fester. To compare released interim results, they were the first food retailer to announce results covering the impact of the July riots. What stood out for you in these results? I think firstly, as you mentioned, quite a big impact from the riots. I mean, almost a, a billion rand of sales between the riots and the, the lockdowns and the fact that they couldn't sell alcohol for the full period. So quite a big knock in the period that was abnormal. That's the first thing that um, stood out for me. The second thing that stood out for me was that the top line growth, even though Pick and Pay themselves said that they were relatively pleased with it, is still quite low. And if you compare, you know, top line growing at say 4% versus cost inflation that I think Pick and Pay might have a challenge in the next few years to keep at low single digits, that for me is a bit of a concern. They did say they think they could save up to 3 billion Rand over the next few years when it comes to their costs, and they're, they're doing a lot like setting up a new distribution facility in Joburg. But longer term for me, the, uh, I'm, I'm concerned if you think about generally a higher inflation environment that might be the situation in the next few years. Uh, if a retailer is not growing their top line strongly, I think problems could come down the line. I definitely think that competition has heated up in the food retail sector. Um, Big and Pay are, are almost trying to fight fights on all fronts. Uh, they are competing with clicks for the biggest loyalty program. If you um, think about their smart shopper program, they're trying to compete with Woolies. If you think about the more premium products and the, the own label that they have, uh, trying to address high quality products, they're trying to compete with ShopRite at the lower end with Boxer um, and, and really giving good value for the clients uh, at that end of the market. Um, so, so they're doing a lot at, at the same time. They're also trying to centralize the distribution, something that ShopRite did years ago. Um, so I am concerned that they're doing something of everything. Oh, and then lastly, they still have a significant franchise base. So if you compare that to, say, a spa that has a, a guild that it's called, not too dissimilar to a franchise base, Pick and Pay is also both doing a directly owned store model and a franchise model. So, so there's a lot of balls in the air for, for Pick and Pay. Uh, sorry, I'll add one more to the mix, Justin, and that is that you know, they've got operations across Africa, in Zambia and Zimbabwe, for instance. So you've seen ShopRite pull back from Nigeria. Uh, Pick and Pay is still committed to, to some of those African operations. So um, I think Peter Boone, the new CEO, has had uh, the last few months to really have a good look at Pick and Pay. And I think part of his challenge going forward is also to try, try and see where he's going to focus. Because for me, it does seem like Pick and Play is, is doing a lot at the moment at the same time.